Can you imagine that? 500 days on a small boat, 40 capsizes, 42,000 kilometers in a rowing boat, made of carbon, but without assistance, across the ocean. It's an ocean crossing in a rowing boat. For sure, it's uh, not something trivial, it's quite peculiar, and at the same time, that's what I like, uh, crossing the ocean in a rowing boat. Lots of things need to be set up, lots of difficulties, but I'm very fascinated by this challenge, and it's a great pleasure for me. I think that every crossing can change you a little bit. You get more experienced. Uh, there are many things to think about when you navigate in the middle of the ocean. It's fascinating. You're there on the water, uh, crossing with storms, rowing. You really have to face some extreme conditions and situations. And so you learn a lot about weather forecasting, about yourself, about navigation, and about the boat itself. And that's what I like. I really like uh, the fact of being surrounded by these cutting-edge skills, by, by architects, uh, designers, starting from an idea, uh, from a dream, and then making it a reality on paper, and then going that step further forward and making it real on the water. Uh, it's an amazing challenge. After six Atlantic crossings, the Pacific Ocean, always on a rowboat, one or two with a hydrocycle, now Emmanuel Quandre is getting ready to cross the Indian Ocean. It's really something amazing. Uh, when I think about the Pacific crossing, which was very dangerous with winds of over 60 knots, uh, it's difficult to imagine how this boat can withstand those incredible conditions. But it's... Um, it's a great pleasure to encourage Emmanuel Quandre, who's uh, one of our great La Baoule champions, one of the most renowned, and I really wish all the best for him. I met Emmanuel for the first time a long time ago. Uh, he's always been keen on the sea and rowing, and uh, as I said before, 42,000 miles on a rowing boat, everything done by hand. It's really an incredible challenge. And not to mention that he's always done his crossings without assistance, which does involve major problems. Uh, those who are used to sailing and staying out at night can easily understand the difficulties involved in preparing and arranging all these things, uh, in particular with such a small boat, uh, no longer than six meters. We're working on this rowing crossing. Uh, it's not the first time that I've prepared an ocean crossing. Actually, it's my seventh crossing. 
five in the North Atlantic uh, and one in the North Pacific Ocean. The idea is to undertake another adventure uh, because I like these challenges, uh, these moments, and the goal is to conquer this sort of grand slam and, and so I have to try for the Indian Ocean following the trade wind route uh, leaving from Australia and going all the way to the Reunion Island. The concept of these single-handed crossings is part of a, of a bigger idea if you have a problem in this approach to loneliness, it means that you don't fit well uh, into the project. Quite the opposite, the fact of being alone in the middle of the sea is no problem for me. I feel good because it's uh, integrated loneliness. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's no problem at all. Well, a standard day, even if there are no standard days, is linked to a certain lifestyle based on this project and on sporting activities. Actually, I apply the rule 18-3-3. 18 kilometers of rowing, 3 hours of sleep and 3 hours of break. This um, is a really clear sequence, divided into two major steps though. I have 3 hours of rowing and then a 15 minute break. And so in 24 hours, uh, the part dedicated to rowing is uh, quite important. And then, according to weather conditions, I can alternate breaks and rests, uh, because it's important to eat, uh, to feed yourself. I have freeze-dried food, uh, and, um, and that's supposed to make up my daily feed ration. And also six to seven litres of water a day. Now this is quite a high water intake, uh, but because of the importance of the effort involved, uh, uh, you have to try and find a sort of balanced situation with a balanced intake. Uh, and then of course, everything depends on the weather conditions. I think that an ocean crossing, uh, in particular on a rowing boat, um, is something that you have to prepare for well in advance. Everything has to be anticipated uh, and there's a considerable pressure linked to the risk of capsizing as well. Of course, the boat needs to meet lots of requirements. Uh, it's a self-bailing boat, uh, autonomous, unsinkable and self-writing. I have to face big waves, so the features are absolutely crucial on the boat. As you can imagine, there are many difficult moments, challenging situations when you're out there, but of course uh, there are also pleasant moments because you have a great privilege, uh, wonderful moments under the moonlight with 35 knots of wind, surfing down these huge waves, uh, nice westerly waves. I've got some great memories of the northern Pacific Ocean, uh, the beauty of gliding on the water, and this is just the reason why you're out there, to be as fast as possible on the water. And we're working towards that. From time to time you really need to feel that you have this privilege. And this is what pushes me to undertake new challenges. I really love these emotions. You have to be very strict and very careful on board. But uh, I'm out there to grasp and perceive and to live out all these sensations, these emotions. 
sharing everything with the natural elements, with the ocean, which is very demanding, powerful and tough. But I like it so much. I really like navigating out there. Très exigeant, puissant et difficile, mais qui me correspond en tout cas. Ça me plaît beaucoup de naviguer. Well, Emmanuel, I really wish you a good crossing, and the whole of the Yacht Club de la Baoule is symbolically here with me to support you. To a certain extent, it's like navigating on the skin of the water. It's not something trivial. And anyway, there's an exchange of energy. It's fantastic. I've never been able to feel anywhere else the same sensations that I live out there. Intense and extreme. Just gliding. Intense and extreme.